Hello and welcome. In today's video I'm doing another live commentary, but today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm going to be playing the Tiger Tank, and the reason for that is in my previous video someone suggested to make a video about the famous Tiger Ace tanker by the name of Kurt Knispel, and today I'm going to be doing just that, and I really hope that you will enjoy this video. If you're interested in more live commentaries and loadout videos make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be uploading a bunch of them from now on. For a very long time I've been a huge fan of tanking and when I was younger I spent a numerous amount of time playing World of Tanks. So when I first came to Battlefield I was more than excited to see that there was a campaign mission by the name of The Last Tiger. Now when I first played it, it made a huge impact on me. The story was moving and the game playing was really entertaining. So when I first started playing multiplayer, I really enjoyed the aspects of being able to play the Tiger, as it was one of my favorite tanks in World of Tanks. I have to move back here, I pushed up a little bit too aggressively while I can't really see the enemy. Hopefully my team will do some spotting for me so I can start shooting at them. There's a guy over here. Let's try and suppress him. Let's repair our gun. Now, Kurt Nipsel, I did a little bit of research about him before making this video. Oh, there's a guy behind. What, where is he? What? He was on the map. He was sort of in this building. He's dead, I guess. Before I made this video, I researched Kurt a little bit. And I found his history kind of amazing. Is there anyone else? Is this guy dead? Okay, he's dead. He was one of the best tankers in the German military, but he wasn't the most decorated. As it turns out, it's because he actually went and stood up to the SS. Now, you might be thinking why this is important, but in those times, if you dare to speak out against the Nazi party or do anything that would pretty much could affect your career, this was one of them. You see, Kurt was on his way to receive a new tank because he was uh, promoted to a Panzer IV, I believe. Another time, his train stopped at the Krakow station in Poland and he heard weird noises which turned out to be screaming. And as he went to investigate, he found out it was actually an SS officer. It was an SS officer maltreating a Russian POW. So what Kurt did was intervene by whipping out his Luger pistol and the SS officer pretty much ended up on his ass on the rails. This uh, obviously didn't go unpunished, as sin ever since, Kurt would be pretty much blacklisted and he would never be promoted or he wouldn't receive the rewards that he was deserving of. For example, many officers have went and recommended him for the Knight's Iron Cross, which was the highest reward, highest ranking medal that he could have received, but he never got it, even though he recorded 168 destroyed tanks. And even though he never did that and he still served in the military, he kept on kept on with his successes and kept fighting for his nation. Surprisingly enough, he wasn't even a real pure German because he was a Sudeten German, so that was another thing that was pretty much against him, as uh, the Nazi party didn't exactly consider him a pure Aryan. This whole bunch of bullshit he had to go through, like prove his documentations and his family's heritage to even be you know, admitted into the military, I believe. There we go. I need to be a little bit more aware here. I'm trying to focus on the uh, Kurt story. Alright. No, I haven't played much of Frontlines before. I usually play Breakthrough, but I tried to record this video on Breakthrough and what ended up ended up happening was a lot of the time I tried to play on what was it? On Rotterdam as the German side to play the Tiger. But it turned out that a lot of people would rage quit and after Operation Underground 
and that led to my team pretty much being the one destroying the enemy on Rotterdam within 5 or 10 minutes, which wasn't exactly very entertaining to play and I assume it wouldn't have been either to watch. I had to make sure I repair my gun before I push up. These guys are very good, they're supporting me. I really like it. It's sometimes rare to get that sort of support. He's over here, guys. Go. Ah, the elevation destroyed me here. Okay, he's dead. There's a bunch of them around the bunker. Let's try and get one into the bunker. There we go. Why aren't we able to push yet? Well, there's still three people in this zone, so we haven't cleared it. Oh, they're back there. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's give them a couple of shells. I'm going to move back a little bit because I still need shells. As soon as that happens, I'm going to be able to push up with my team. Okay. I only have 20 rounds on this tank right now. And that's because I opted out for a different loadout when I was playing Rotterdam. I was uh, under the impression that it would be a good idea to have the Zimmer at paste the reinforced shell, uh, well, not shell, a reinforced turret ring, and also some things like the S mines. And instead, I usually run with the, um, with the extended ammo rack, so I only have 20 shells, but that should be enough. What I want to do is test out this S mine, see how they perform. So let's go in here. These guys are dead. Where should we be oh, forward? Okay, let's go. Just try and see if there's anyone on that bridge. There's some people over here. Can't see them. They're over here somewhere. There we go. Let's go into C first. There we go. Oh, this guy on the left. My team's got him. I'm gonna give them some smoke so they can push up with me. My team got it. Oh, they have a... What are you doing, son? I can't hit him. Uh, there's no one over here. I'm gonna push up aggressively here because I don't have support. Let's go, let's get over this. You Get your files over. There we go. Stop moving. I'm gonna aggressively push them. Come on, one more, let's go, let's go, stop. There we go, perfect. Honestly, Frontlines is suddenly fun. Is there someone here? Yep. 20 kills, 0 deaths, let's go. This team is very good. Uh, let's get over here, get some shells into them. We're stuck on a box. We should be destroying this box, no problem. And that's the end of the game. And now we lo we won. That's all she wrote. That was perfect. Is that all? That's the last zone. Well, that was fun. I need to play this mode more. If you're interested in more loadout series and live commentaries like this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as I'll be releasing more content like this. And if you have any requests, suggestions for loadouts or things for me to do in Battlefield 5 or 1 or even Call of Duty, make sure to leave them down in the comments and follow me on social media where you can share your ideas with me any time of the day or night. And thank you for watching if you've gone this far and I hope to see you soon.